was a cooler, tasted like a raindrop. She's got the look. This is my memory printer. It's a Polaroid camera. Here's a fun little question for you. When was the last time that you looked at the photos that you took at that one party you went to in August last year? Never, right? And me neither. And I'm the weirdo who turns up everywhere with big silly camera. We're always going on about documenting your life and romanticizing your life and making memories and all of that. And it's cool that you make those TikTok videos of you and your friends running in the long grass, but one day TikTok will be gone. And that might be sooner than we think. But these, these are like memories transplanted from up here to like physical real life. They're like memories that you can hold. They're pictures, right? But they're like, they're pictures of things that we loved experiencing. And my logic is, why the hell would you put a phone screen in between you and the thing that you're loving experiencing? And, and, and worse, when you're taking photos with a phone, obviously like everyone wants to have a look and make sure that their chin looks fine and that their pose was right. And then all of a sudden you're no longer doing the thing that you were loving doing and you're doing a photo shoot. And, and no one likes how they look in photos no matter what you do. So it's a lose-lose situation. Polaroids, on the other hand, stop this in its tracks. Okay, because when you shoot a Polaroid, you take it out of the camera, you stick it in your back pocket and you forget about it until the next morning. You can't see it straight away. There's no reshoots. There's no Kate Middleton nonsense where you replace the face of like every single person in the photo to the one where they look the most perfect. Part of the magic of analog photography is all these little weird idiosyncratic things that happen in the photo that you would generally not do or reshoot with a digital camera, but it just makes it feel more natural and organic and unique. You know, have you ever been at a party and someone's got one of those Instax cameras and then they like go, oh, you're a photographer. Why don't you take a pictures with the Instax? Yeah, if that's ever happened to you, go and press the like button. Or is it just me? Also, when you know when you pull out your phone or worse, a camera at a social event and everyone just kind of goes, especially family stuff. Like people hate it when you start taking photos. No one likes having a camera pointed at them. Apart from somehow Polaroids. They just seem to get a free pass with all of this stuff. They're, they're really fun and nostalgic for a lot of people. And I think it's a lower pressure thing because they know that it's not gonna be shared online in high res, right? People are usually genuinely really happy to see a Polaroid, which cannot be said for my pro-level DSLRs. And with the 2014 like Tumblr grungecore revival era in full swing, you have zero, zero, zero excuse not to pick one of these up on eBay and, and get one of those little string lines with miniature clothing pegs on them and, and decorate your room with photos. Sure, complain about the price of film, but this whole camera only cost me 40 quid and my DSLR sure as hell cost a lot more than that. Plus, having to be a little bit more selective with your shots is, I think, a good thing. You're not a press photographer, so put down the D6, turn off burst mode, relax with your friends, and just capture the exceptional moments. Hell, why not throw a no phones party and just like stick an iPod on shuffle in the corner and see what happens. And sure, I get it, it's a pain, it's a little bit of a pain, right, to scan them and to share them online. Consider for a moment what you're really missing out on, or rather not missing out on there. Are they a little bit of a pain to share on Instagram? Sure. Is your life gonna be significantly worse and lacking because you didn't get 29 likes on Instagram from those photos? Not really. In fact, it's probably just gonna upset you. I know it upsets me because I got like 1200 followers and 25 people like my posts. I think it's more important that every time you walk past your fridge, you're reminded of that great time that you had at the pub that one night. Maybe it's just me, I don't know, maybe I'm a Luddite or something. But I honestly think you should try shooting Polaroids and, and just see how you feel about it. Who knows? Maybe you'll enjoy looking at them more than your phone pictures. And maybe you'll even have more fun doing the things that you're taking the pictures of in the first place, which really is the whole point of all of this, right? Uh, and, and no, please don't shake them. That's not, we don't do that. Speaking of my particular Polaroid. This is an Impulse AF. It's sort of late 80s, early 90s. It has a pop-up flash, but the flash is like always on. That's how you turn on the camera. I don't mind that because I sort of bought this specifically for shooting pictures of parties and friends. However, this has a pretty cool feature. Most Polaroids 
are fixed focus. Like it's sort of preset in the lens that it's focused about a person distance away so that you can take portraits. However, this has sonar based autofocus. Literally, th this gold thing is uh, a speaker and it fires out sonar when you half press the shutter. It figures out where to focus and it's actually really good. Most of my results with this, when I do remember to give it a second and half press the shutter, have been tack sharp for a Polaroid. And yeah, it's worse for wear a little bit. I've dropped it uh, like more times than I would like to admit. I shot a protest on it once. That was kind of wacky fun. Here's the thing, right? Like I know we all really like gear, okay? Let's be honest with ourselves. We like gear, gear is fun. This is way more fun than like any digital camera. I, I'm sorry, it just is. Digital cameras are great, I love them. I have them, I use them, I need them for my job, but this is silly fun. You get eight pictures of a pack, I was gonna say a roll. Everyone who sees this is like, oh, it's a Polaroid. And it's like so much better than going up to someone with a, a D6 and a 24 to 70 and going, oh, can I take your picture? People ask you to take their picture with one of these. Rant over. If you're interested in photography, filmmaking, content creation, or creativity in general, you should probably subscribe because that's the four things I make videos about. Stay hydrated and create art.